to start baking? All right, we have to get started early. No, no dilly dallying around. We got to get busy because this recipe is going to take the whole hour to put together. Say hi to Kimberly's here. Yay! Hi, Kimberly. How are you? She says, I'm excited for this. I have never had a plant based pie. All right. Did you uh, get the, do you have all the ingredients you're going to cook with me? I hope y'all can. I think everything, I did not go to the store for anything extra. I had everything in my pantry. Um, I have one or two substitutions that I made. Three, maybe, substitutions uh, from the original recipe. But it all, it's all coming from my pantry. Oh, Apple82 is here. Hi, Apple82. And we have a new follower, Mama Jo. Hi, Mama Jo. You're about to make a whole bunch of new friends. This is the best group on the internet right here. Everybody that's going to come on tonight, all the wonderful ladies that you're about to meet, I love them. I love them. We get together every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, and um, we talk about food all the time. Okay, I need to get busy. I need to jump on. If you want to follow the, along with the recipe, uh, jump on your laptop or your computer or whatever. Go over to Plant Based Recipe Hoarders on Facebook. It's a group. And if you look in the thread there, I posted. It's called Let's Try This Pumpkin Pie. And you can print it off and follow along. Okay, uh, I'm gonna pull my hair back. Oh, is Team Broccoli here yet? Y'all, Team Broccoli is the sweetest person on the earth. Check this out. Vicki Lane's here. Hey Maggie, you still got your jewelry on? Yeah. Y'all gotta see this. You see my beautiful necklace? Team Broccoli made this for me. Look at Maggie's, hold on. Let me get this over. She look, went, look. She went with a little charm thing. Look at it, love, look. And on the back, it says plant-based. Isn't that cute? And she made, Team Broccoli made this little bracelet. And then show her the necklace. It says plant-based on it. Isn't that cute? With a little thing, little fork and spoon. And you got a fork and spoon pattern all around your heart. Yeah, and then mine says, look at this. It says simple daily recipes. Oh, oh and get my magnet. Get my magnet. And then she made this little magnet for me. Hold on, hold on. Look at that. It's just vegan. Can you see it? It's kind of. Isn't this cute? It's just a little magnet on the back. Uh, I think she has an Etsy store. We need to ask her, and we need to all go over there. I'm gonna see if she'll make me some simple daily recipes magnets. I think that would be cool, and I could put it on my Shopify store. That would be awesome. Vegan chic is here. Oh yeah! We gotta get busy, girls. I know, I don't have my bunny ears. Oh my gosh, my bunny ears. Maggie, go get my bunny ears. Hold on, hold on. All right, hold on, now I gotta get my hair out of my... Well, I don't want any hair in the pumpkin pie. No. Good thing I shaved my pits. Shoo. All right, hold on, hold on. Okay, I'm ready. All right, let's make some pumpkin pie. Okay, I need to start with the crust. So uh, it says to combine two cups of rolled oats with a half a cup of pitted dates, and this was six pitted dates, the mid-jewel kind. Um, what else? Okay, and then I'm gonna process these until a fine crumbly texture. recipe yet. I have always made the filling and put it into my my traditional never fail me pie crust recipe. So this is my first time to make this crust. We're going to live this together. <laughs> Check 
looking for chunks of uh, dates. Okay, I still see chunks of dates. You see that? Can you see that? Hold on. I still got date chunks in there. Now, I still have to add almond butter and milk, so maybe that'll help. I don't think I'm going to get that super fine. I'm going to go a little bit more. I got to remember this is not YouTube. I don't have to rush, super rush. Nettie says, have a giveaway for the Breville all-in-one. I need to call Breville first and ask them if they'll give me a Breville to give away. Otherwise, it comes out of my pocket. peanut butter. She was asking me about a fat-free or an oil-free pie crust the other day, and I said they don't exist, and I still believe it. Okay, two tablespoons of non-dairy milk. Oh, wait, what am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to put the butter in and pulse it for a minute, then add the milk and the salt. Hold on. together. We'll see. Um, two tablespoons of milk. One or more if it doesn't come together. I bet, I bet I'll need more milk. I can see that right now. And an eighth teaspoon of pep, uh, salt. Not pepper. Don't add pepper. I don't know why you would bother adding that, that little bit of salt. Okay, let's see what happens. Are you close enough? Is this close enough? You want me to get closer? If I get closer, then you can't see my beautiful face. It's supposed to come together with two tablespoons. Let's see. Somebody's talking to me. There we go. Wish you could see this. It doesn't look sticky yet. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna 
go a whole tablespoon. I'm living on the edge. me two coins. Get a little mini dash. Oh yeah, she tipped me. <laughs> okay, don't distract me. Hold on now. Okay, what? How, did anybody count how much milk I just put in there? I put an extra tablespoon and a half of milk. And it's sticky. Look. Look at there. That's good and sticky. That's going to hold in the pie plate. Sorry, just taste it. Ooh. Mmm, <gasps> tastes like a granola bar. Mmm. Oh my gosh, I'd eat this all by itself. Oh my word. <gasps> Put a little cinnamon in that right there. We could have a granola bar. Okay, okay. All right, keep moving. No, keep moving. Okay, I'm getting my pie plate. Right? Yep. Now I gotta shape this into my pie plate. Hold on. Can't waste anything. Waste not, want not. I want nothing but you, baby. Okay. My hands are clean. Right, I'm supposed to press this in the plate. What's the calorie count on the serving? If I gotta count the calories, I probably don't need to eat it. Oh, I need to wet my hands. This is not, this is really sticky. You know, she, oh, I didn't do that. She did recommend, the original recipe is from Drina Burton, and she did recommend that I boil the pie plate, but I didn't do that. This is really sticky. Uh-oh. Hold on. Let me wash my hands. This is too sticky. All right. I've wet my hands. Let's see if that'll help. Let me just do this. Give me some milk. I'm going to just wet this spatula. Let my spatula do the work. This is really sticky. It's going to stick to the pie plate. I can already feel it. I already know. We're going to be carving it out of the pie plate. Now, I don't know that I'm going to get a chance to try this tonight because it's going to be hot out of the oven and you're supposed to let it set up. And I know for a fact that this pie filling is way better the next day because I have been making this pie filling for three years. I know it's good. Oh, there we go. Can you see me all right? I'm just... Boy, that, that looks a mess. Woo, woo. Get in here. Come over here and come close to me. Come close and let me make, look at me make this mess. There you go. Now you're standing next to me. Can you see that all right? Oh, my goodness. Trying to get it even in the corners. This is messy. <gasps> free voice tipped me two coins too. Thank you, free voice. Okay. This pie crust might turn out rustic. You know what I'm saying? I think we're going to go rustic. It's really thick. Oh my gosh. This is not easy to work with. I'm glad I'm using this spatula. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Okay, hold on. Bear with me. I'll let my years of baking catch up to my experience here. Hold on just a minute. This ain't my first rodeo to make a pie, but... Let me 
me borrow a little bit of that. Bring that over there. Let's put some of this over here. Get a little shy in places. You know how it goes. We've got to make it happen, right? Jill, do you have a sandwich baggie you could put your hand in and press? No, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. All right, that's good enough. Don't y'all think that's good enough for tonight? Okay, that's good. That looks pretty good. Okay, now we don't have to do anything. I'm going to put this aside and we're going to work on the filling next. Let me wash my hands. Okay, this next part involves the Vitamix. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Um, you know what? I need to just bring the Vitamix over here. Hold on just a second. Let me do an appliance change. Okay. Oh, yeah, you're going to be here tomorrow, Mrs. Plant. I'll save you some. It'll be all ready when you come over. I mean, when you come, when we see each other. Gonna do when it's raining. Nope. Alright, hold on, hold on. Mmm, there's bits of oatmeal on my counter. <laughs> okay, get up close, get up close. Okay, let, now let's make the filling. Um, I need a can of pumpkin. This is like a can of pumpkin I bought last year or the year before. I had them on sale after the holidays and I stocked up. Bought like a whole case. They were three for a dollar. I just bought a whole bunch. And they're still not expired. I don't want to think about that. I don't want to think about how this can of pumpkin is good for three, four years. Okay. One can of pumpkin. Next. Three-fourths cup of cashews, walnuts, or sunflower seeds. I can I know for a fact that this works great with cashews. I have not tried sunflower seeds, but I was thinking of Vanessa because she can't have nuts. So that's so you know, try it with sunflower seeds, Vanessa, and let me know. And then um, and I didn't have cashews on hand, but I did have walnuts in the freezer, they were already crunched up, so I'm gonna try that. Lagging really bad. I'm sorry. Okay. Samantha G. Hi from College Station. We're almost neighbors. I'm in Austin. That's so cool. Okay, there's my... What else next? Okay. Where's my milk? Third cup milk. That's milk. Maple syrup. Need a third cup maple syrup. Isn't that right? Half a cup. Half. Half a cup. That is a lot of maple, expensive maple syrup. Char Char. Video way behind audio. Kind of funny. Just imagine we're watching a Japanese film. Godzilla's on his way. I'm making Godzilla a pumpkin pie. Okay. <laughs> okay, what's next? One tablespoon of lemon juice. Remember, we can get the, you can get the um, recipe off of the plant-based recipe hoarders Facebook group. I uploaded a file over there and it's called Let's Try This Pumpkin Pie. So go over to that group, find that file, and you can print it off. Okay, what's next? One tablespoon of cornstarch. Who logged in late? Meryl Lee! Team Broccoli's here! Alright, one tablespoon. Is that right? Yep. Two teaspoons of pumpkin spice. Where's my pumpkin spice? 
Look what I'm wearing, Team Broccoli. Ho ho. We already talked about you. We talked about you behind your back. All right, two teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice. Drina Burden has all the breakdown of like nutmeg, allspice, cloves, cinnamon, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, eh, you added all that up together and you get two teaspoons of pumpkin spice. So that's why I'm doing that. This is what I have on hand. You know what I'm saying? Gotta go with what I have on hand. One teaspoon of vanilla. <laughs> hey, Team Broccoli. Uh, do you have an Etsy store? Tell us what your Etsy store name is. So we can all um, go over and check out your crafts. Fourth teaspoon of salt. I want you to make some refrigerator magnets like this that say simple daily recipes for me. I want to put them on my Shopify store. That would be awesome. And Shalom. Help you get awesomer. Get you some more customers. Okay, I'm ready to blend. Oh, there it is. A starlightcreation.etsy.com. Oh, I'm gonna go check you out, girl. Okay, I gotta blend. Blend until smooth. ready. Marilee says, I made Miyoko's Now and Zen burgers. They are really good. Oh, Susan, I love my pot is here. Yay! Damselfly, I saw you're here. Okay, y'all want to look at this? Oh, look here, look here, look here, look here, look here. Mmm. Oh, nice and creamy and smooth. Oh, and it smells like pumpkin pie, too. Hey. Ugh. All right, y'all ready for the sexy moment? Let's get with it here. Let me get you down to this level. Hold on. Hold on. Let's get this right. Let's get this right. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let's get up in this. You know what I'm saying? Okay, hold on. Hold on. Okay. Here we go. Where's my spatula? Here we go. Anticipation, anticipation, it's making me wait, <laughs> making me wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh my gosh, look at it, that kind of looks gross, that looks like a bad night, oh my goodness, oh. Okay, hold on. I gotta get this out of here. Oh, yeah. If there's a little in the picture, I'm eating it. I may not scrape this page picture. This stuff is good like a pudding. If you have any leftover, what is that? If you have any leftover, don't feel shy about eating it. It is awesome. Oh, yeah, baby. Look at that. Oh, hold on, I still got some more stuff in here. Let me try to get it out. I still got some pudding. All right, there we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Hey, I wonder if this will work. You remember how I did my little chocolate pie? I wonder if I could do that. Hold on. How'd I do that? It went like this. I wonder if I could make that bake in. Oh, wait, I got to get this even. Hold on. Okay, now. Let's go like this. Let's see if I can make this happen. Oh yeah. Oh, oh 
look at that. Is that fun? Ooh, hold on. Oh, ouch. Ooh, hold on. Oh, man, I messed it up. Hold on, I got to start all over. I messed it up. Hold on. Oh, shoot. Hold on. I got to get it right. I'm getting it. I got to find my mojo. Let's get it on. All right, what is that? Does that look right? Does that look weird? Need something right in the middle. That'll be where the plop of nothing goes. Okay, I'm licking that. You know. <laughs> oh, man. That's good. Mm. Mm. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, let's get this in the oven. My oven is set to uh, 375. And I'm going to bake it for 25 minutes. I mean, 20 minutes. Damselfly says, my husband will actually roast a turkey on Thanksgiving, but not ask me to do it. There you go. He eats vegan most of the time, but turkey day, he still likes some turkey. That sounds like Dr. McDougal. He has, like, he has his slice of turkey at Thanksgiving, and that's it. She, uh, she goes on to say, I make a lentil loaf and mashed potatoes and homemade cranberry sauce and sweet potatoes. <gasps> now, Damselfly, you just described our first plant-based Thanksgiving. That's what um, we went to the fam, you know, we went to uh, my aunt and uncle's house. We had to carry our Thanksgiving meal. And so I made um, little lentil loaf muffins i put the instead of making a lentil loaf i just put the lentil loaf in, in in a muffin pan and baked them up that way and then i carried the mashed potatoes and we i made it like a cupcake so the it was the lentil muffin and then we put a i put a scoop of potato on the top just like it were icing it looked like a cupcake and then we poured green peas on top of it so it spilled down around it and uh and of course, uh, and then I, and I always make homemade cranberry sauce and then, uh, sweet potatoes. That was ch for Charlie and I, and with, you know, with vegan marshmallows, it was cool. It was really cool. And it looked cute. And everybody was like looking at our fun plates. It was awesome. Nettie's saying that Juliana Hever had a great video on YouTube where she cooks a Thanksgiving meal. There you go. Mioka Shinner has a, uh, she has a seitan turkey that she makes, and it's on YouTube. I think it's called, uh, I don't know that it's on her channel. I think it's on Vegan Mashup. I think it's like one of their early YouTube videos. I mean, it's, it's quite a few years old. You can find that. Uh, Damselfly says, I love the idea of lentil loaf in a muffin shape. Yeah, give peas a chance. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Damselfly, all we are saying is give peas a chance. I oh, love it. Oh my gosh. The pie's ready. All right, watch out. Don't get burned. Woo. Oh. oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Oh my gosh, it's the prettiest pie. Sing, but it doesn't stop me oh my goodness let's just look at her for a while here let's take you out like let's take a real drive here hold on, hold on i'm popping you off the tripod don't fall don't fall let's get real close oh my goodness look at that oh my goodness uh let's take a tour oh my word oh wait i'm turning this now i can see oh my goodness Nom, 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 nom. Okay, just kidding. Oh my goodness. Food porn at its best. 
Get my hand out of there. Oh my goodness. I love it when a recipe happens. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's so awesome. Oh yeah, it's 360, babe. I'm doing the 360 pie. Hold on. Oh, that's a good picture right there. Ooh, that's a good angle. Hold on, my light is really good right there. Oh, my word. I cannot get over this moment. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Oh, my gosh. I could look at that all night. I can't wait till that cool drooling like Homer Simpson now. I know. Hey, are those silicone gloves? Yes. Got them at Bed Bath & Beyond. Bed Bath & Beyond. All right, I want to thank all 79 people for being here and watching and being good. <laughs> and uh, I appreciate all the thumbs up. That's very encouraging. So Saturday, we get together again. I am, But this time, I'm taking you shopping with me. Uh, I, I was hoping to stay in and talk more about Thanksgiving recipes and dig up cookbooks, but it turns out that I have to go, um, I have to go to the home decor store and pick up some uh, Christmas ornaments and stuff like that. We need to refresh our Christmas ornament stuff. So uh, I'm going to take you with me. I'm going to take you with me. We're just going to, I'm going to take you Christmas shopping with me and do all that. So uh, but Tuesday will be life as normal. We'll get back and we'll talk about Thanksgiving recipes some more. If you have any, yes, 945 Texas time, that's central, central time. Um, anytime between now and Tuesday, you have a, a recipe, a Thanksgiving recipe that you want to discuss or you want to figure out how to veganize or whatever, you need a substitution clue, um, feel free to email me at jill at simpledailyrecipes.com. All right. I love y'all. Thank you so much for being here. I'll see y'all later. Bye.